Hear the legend of the Kung Fu Panda! Never seeking glory or fame He climbed a mountain top and known the dragon warrior name Kung Fu Panda In the second movie, which in my opinion rocked We saw character death and an evil peacock Kung Fu Panda Always called the action cause he found out that his dad is alive He'll train the panda village, help them on their warrior strive This is bad, this is bad, this is bad. Uh, what do I tell them? What do I tell them? I, I I can't decide. What should I tell them about Kung Fu Panda 3? Tell them it sucks! It's easily the worst movie out of the entire trilogy! I don't know. Hey, where's the other guy? Oh my! There's a Nigerian prince who needs my credit card information to survive? <gasps> I must save him! No, no. I'm a professional. I must give my honest and most trustworthy opinion. Ni hao and konnichiwa, you kung fu lovers out there, and today we're going to be talking about Kung Fu Panda 3. But first, let me give you my opinions on the other Kung Fu Panda movies. Kung Fu Panda 1, I love. It's a very good story and easily one of DreamWorks' best movies ever. Kung Fu Panda 2, I loved even more. It had a darker tone than the first movie, and we had a lot of character depth and plus a badass villain. But the third one, however, well... Let me just tell you what it's all about first. So the movie starts out sometime after the second movie. Poe and the Furious Five are still training to become the very best Kung Fu masters they can be. But Shifu tells them that it's time for Poe to stop training and to start teaching. Poe, of course, can't teach for beans at first. In spite of all this, a new threat has come to the Valley of Peace. And that threat comes in the form of Kai, played by J.K. Simmons, an ex-Kung Fu master who apparently rose from the afterlife. Yeah, apparently Kung Fu masters can even defy the laws of death. And he comes to Earth to steal the Kung Fu energy, or Chi, from Kung Fu masters all over the world. And as if things can't get more dramatic for Poe, he finds out that his father's alive, played by Brian Cranston. <laughs> Thank you. So after some actually really well done father-son bonding time between Poe and his dad, Li Shang, Shifu comes up to Poe and says that he must master the ways of Chi in order to defeat Kai. And it turns out that in the old days, pandas were the keepers of how to use Chi. So Li Shang offers to take Poe back to the panda village where he's from, where hopefully he can learn how to use Chi. But when Poe gets to the panda village, he finds out that all the pandas there are fat, lazy, and worthless. Wow, you'd think the pandas would have a little more character to them, but nope. They're just fat, lazy, and hungry. So when the villain Kai actually defeats Shifu in the Furious Five, Poe must do all he can to train the panda village in order to defend the valley. Well, that's pretty much it for plot-wise. So, um... Yeah, what do I think of the movie? Well, uh... <laughs> I'm sorry I'm late. Did I miss anything? Oh, thank God you're here. I need your help. What do I tell them? Tell them to tell them that not to watch this movie. Seriously. It's not worth wasting money for. I don't know. Hey, where's the other guy? Oh, dear. I guess I shouldn't let this Viagra salesman go broke. I'll just order a sample. Okay guys, you want my honest opinion about this movie? It's not as good as the other two. And, and don't get me wrong, it's not bad, it's just not that good. There's definitely some good stuff in this, like the animation is once again amazing. I love the backgrounds and I love the way the characters bounce and move around. And the action sequences are, as always, freaking fantastic. Plus, the dialogue between Poe and his dad are, is actually really fun to listen to because they get so into it during the movie. Now comes the bad parts. The bad parts really lie on... <sighs> the villain. I'm sorry, but this villain is friggin' boring! And you would think he wouldn't be because his plan is so friggin' diabolical. I mean, here you have a Kung Fu Master, Rose from the Dead, planning to steal the life energy of all Kung Fu Masters in the world. 
You'd think he'd get some better dialogue, though. I mean, he's so bad, even Poe makes fun of him during the friggin' movie. I'm going to take your chi, then the chi of every panda in the- Ugh, shit chat. In this- Chitty chitty chat chat in... chat chat chat. In this- Chit chat. Another problem I have with the movie lies in the panda village. Like, I expected these pandas to have a little more character to them, but they don't, no, they're all one-note jokes. They're either fat, lazy, or stupid. And it sucks because this movie had a lot of time to make itself, and I mean a lot of time. But I guess, I don't know, they're just not that into it anymore. I think we need to take solace in the fact that this franchise is coming to an end, and we need to just let it rest. I mean, yeah, there's the three movies, there's the TV series, there's the shorts, yeah, I think it's just time we let Kung Fu Panda go. Again, this isn't a bad movie. It's definitely worth at least one watch. But it's not really worth spending your money on, so I would just wait until this comes out on DVD. That being said, Roshi gives Kung Fu Panda 3 a 6.5 out of 10. Well, thank you all for watching my Kung Fu Panda 3 review. I hope you enjoyed it, and next week we'll- <laughs>